changed our set around a little bit. Hope you like it. Comment below what you think. Our friend who sends us samples from his personal collection included this 2016 Miao Gong Tang Fushu Ruyi from Yunnan Sourcing aged white tea, which is shumei. Spelled M-I-A-O, not M-E-O-W. Guessing at the pronunciation. But we have not even sniffed it or anything, so you get to find out with us what this tea is like. It comes in a cake, but I'm thinking we got the sample here. Thank you very much for that. Nope, nope, it, it's more like it a, was a cake. cake. All right, so. He actually sent us part of he a He broke up a cake for us. Mm, this is not like. Ooh, look at oh. that. So this is white tea, which is more delicate and less processed. Ooh, it's very light and like crispy, like a chip or something. Yeah, can you hear that? And so. Ooh. We want, we want you to see it. We're going to put it in our tea holder here. This is the Blue Line Porcelain. From TVV.com. TV. Link down below. All right, so this is the white tea. Okay. Add a little bit of water. Yes. White tea is delicate, so you don't get a high temperature with it. We filtered it through. We heated everything up, and so this is the first infusion. That is a lot of, what do you even call that? Tea? No, what do you call it when it's- Sediment? I was thinking silt, but that works too. Okay. But you've got a lot of the leaves coming through that were actually not there earlier. So the, it's delicate, so it's gonna break easily with handling. Hmm. Smells like hay. It's a white tea smell. Light and delicate, and yeah, uh, grass, not no, not grassy. Hay. 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 There's a difference between hay and grass, which we know very well since we have mm, goats. Yeah. But very light hay smell and sweet. Okay, we ready to drink it. I was about to put some more water in, but we already have this stuff. Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now it's actually the, quite dark for a uh, white tea. Yeah, white tea is not too dark either, but got a nice yellow color there. Normally white tea looks about like a really lightly brewed green tea to me. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. It has presence. Is it almost fruity? Hmm. The taste of the tea is ultra smooth and sweet with notes of malt, sugar cane, and the slightest vegetal umami taste. Yep. This is from yunansourcing.com straight from the website. Slightly malty, sweet, and sugary. That nails it. Mm. It's good. White tea you do when you just want to sit around and enjoy tea. Not necessarily with anything, in my opinion. No, well... Because I mean, anything real sweet would overpower it. I guess you could pair it with, like, breakfast. If you're eating a light breakfast, maybe. Well, I think... Like, one of my favorite things to do for breakfast is to have, like, toast, hash browns, and eggs. And I think that that would go really well I think it would go white tea. toast with a light bit of jam. Maybe. Mm. What, just the toast? And toast some butter? with hash browns. Toast with hash browns. Well, there's a white on, white on, white meal. My favorite thing to do is um, hash brown toast, in which I make buttered toast, add hash browns on top, and have hash browns on the side. If you can't tell, I love hash browns. She likes hash browns. She's into potatoes right now. Well, I ate the last ones. Mm hmm But I like potatoes. Yes. But don't send me any. I no. have enough. Don't send her potatoes. Would you like to pour? Yes. Okay. You know, I want, two. I want black tea when I'm in the mood to four. really taste my tea. So this is... Two. This is two, but technically four. Why technically four? Because we already washed it and then... Would that count? The pre-rinse? Well, know. the pre-rinse and then the, well, actually technically only three times because the first time we warmed it, we didn't actually have it in here. And get the water out. There you go. There you go. Get out. Get out. Out, I say. 
just have to do it the old fashioned way. A strainer is a fabulous thing with loose leaf tea because then you don't have to chew the leaves. Mm. How is that smell? It's actually paler this time, I think. Yellower. We may have left it in for slightly too long on the first infusion. That dog, what is he yelling at now? Smoother. Mm. Less sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was a leaf. Ah. Getting leaves today, huh? No, there was a tiny leaf and it got stuck, right? Oh, fun. There. Is it getting lighter? Mm hmm. By the end of this, I expect we'll only have water. Hmm. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> You, you know could what? redo it. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna redo it. I'm just gonna redo it. Maybe this time it'll actually have a little bit more flavor than last time. She likes her tea leaf free. Hang on. Like I said before, very sensitive gag reflex. There's a fun sound. How it sounds to scratch a filter. It also sounds like a record scratching. Hmm. There you go. There we go. go. Ha! Darker? No leaves. All right. Okay, and then also, smell the leaves. It's been a while since we smelled we the have. leaves. Hmm. Okay, so I have a question for you. Question. Would you be opposed to like a 30 minute video of just us tasting tea? Like it would still be edited because we say really stupid stuff sometimes. Taste, tasting tea, that's what we do. I know, but like an actual like 30 minute video of instead of just doing like five tastings, we do as many tastings as we would normally do and like take you through each one of them. Because currently what we do is we edit out anything that isn't interesting. Just sit there and pour it and rinse it and drink it and pour it and rinse it and drink it. Yeah, still edited because I don't want to do a YouTube live because that's just... No. Oof, no. Mm, oh, okay. that is good. It is gotten... More now. Well, I think that may have been because I double brewed it to get rid of all the leaves. Mm. Oh, yeah. I am liking it because I can taste it now. It tastes... It. I want to use the word cereal. Hang on. She's got something in her head. We what? just have a little bit of this one left, so Cloudy we're going to finish it off. Cloudy days. It's delicious, and it has like a, the same kind of vegetal taste... Even As though it's a puer and this is a white tea. But it's aged. That's the point of that. It's an aged white tea. So this one is now ramping up. And like this is what I mean. Like just have a 30 minute video of us mm. talking about tea. And Getting making those noises. Better and better. Or I leave those noises in. Yeah. But like what I'm talking about is just we tell you what what we think it smells like and we don't make it so it can be like a 10, 15 minute video and it's actually fairly long. Why did I just do that? that, that what I did just, you do? I just mixed infusions. Mixed infusions? I did. Oh, okay. And now it's backing down again. So that, I don't know what that was, fifth infusion. Well, that was two infusions put together. Oh. Uh. This is a good tea. If you get a chance to get to yunansourcing.com, try the... It's very good. 2016 Meow Gong Tang Fushu Ru Yi. All right, we don't have any affiliation with them. No, we don't. But we like their stuff. <laughs> but we'll try to find something similar that we can link for you. Yes. And until we see you again... Make sure to make time for taking a good book. Drink good tea.